Number 59. The rate constant for the decomposition of acetaldehyde, which is CH3CHO, to methane, which is CH4, and carbon monoxide, which is CO, in the gas phase is 1.1 times 10 to the negative second liters per mole per second at 703 Kelvin and at uh, 4.95 liters per mole per second at 865 Kelvin. Determine the activation energy for this decomposition. Okay, so if we just kind of tie together the important pieces of information and kind of disregard what's extra, um, we can say that the rate constant is all of this extra stuff is just kind of just describing what's going on. But I want to get to the meat and potatoes, right? Um, so tell me what that rate constant is. That rate constant is this value. So the rate constant, uh, we have one rate constant value at one temp, which is highlighted in blue. And then they gave us another rate constant with another temp that I highlighted in green. And from the two pairs, we want to find the activation energy. Now, there's generally only one formula that links rate constants, temperatures, and activation energies. And if you can spot out that you have a pair like we do here, right, you know that you're only going to be using one formula, and that formula is this one. So... As we can see here, the natural log ln of K1 over K2, your K values are your rate constants, right? So we got a rate constant up top here and a rate constant down here. But keep in mind that one goes for one pair and the other goes for the other pair. So I, I highlighted the ones in red and the twos in blue. So just keep in mind that I always, when I try to remember this formula uh, back when I was learning it, I always remembered it that it went one and two, but then it got flipped. So the second T came first and then the first one. Now there's another variation of this formula uh, that has this part a little bit changed. Um, me personally, I don't like to use that one. Um, this is the one I like to use, like, used to, uh, use, but if you like working with the other one, that's fine with me. You should get the same answer at the end. Okay, so let's put those pairs, right? So maybe let's color this pair in red. So we have the one rate constant is 1.1 times 10 to the negative second. And in this case, I don't really care about the units, but it's liter per mole per second. That's the same thing as saying molarity to the minus one second to the minus one. So just kind of get into the, the zone of seeing different units, but they basically mean the same thing. Can you tell me what order this reaction is by looking at those rate constant uh, units? Did you say second order? If you said second, that's correct. Um, and then with that rate constant, that comes this temperature. They told us that that one was the 703 Kelvin. The other pair is the blue pair. That's 4.95 liters per mole per second. So that goes with this one. 4.95, and I'm just going to say molarity 1 seconds minus 1, and that goes with the other Kelvin, 865 Kelvin. Now we want to find the activation energy. That's EA. EA is activation energy. And the only other thing that we haven't talked about is the R value, but that one is a constant. Right? It's always the R value that we're using. Um, for our energy purposes, and that's always going to be 8.314 joules per mole times Kelvin. So we always know the R value. So now let's plug in what we know and try to solve. So ln of, let's see, and I'm just going to kind of set up this. Let's see. I might not need that much space here, so maybe I'll cut some of this off. Okay, so let's see, so ln of, we have the 1.1 times 10 to the negative second on the top, divided by 4.95 equals activation energy, which is x, divided by 8.314, times now 1 
divided by something minus one divided by something. Now the the uh, the temps are going to flip, right? So the blue one goes first, 865 minus 703. Okay. Now, if you have calci, right, if you have TI-84 or some variation of the 80s, so TI-89, TI-84, TI-84 uh, plus CE, which is the one I have here, a lot of this stuff you could plug in in one shot. The first thing is since we know both of these values for your Ks, I could plug this whole thing into the calculator at once. So I'm going to say ln of 1.1 second comma, that's times 10 to the negative second, divided by 4.95. Close the parentheses, just make sure that you plugged in the right numbers and looks good to me. I'm gonna press enter. That whole side is already done. How cool is that? This would be negative 6.109 equals, we'll leave this for right now, x over 8.314, but then the next thing that you could do is since you know both temperatures, you could plug this all in one shot in calci. So I'm going to say 1 divided by 865 minus 1 divided by 703. Press that. Beautiful. So negative 2, whoop, what happened there? 2.664 times 10 to the negative fourth. Now what you can do is you can maybe clean this up a little bit because that's basically all we're doing. We're just gonna be using PEMDAS, right? So if I just put like a little divider here, keep in mind that this is in the numerator. So it's being times with the X value. So if you want, what I can do is we can just restate this negative 6.109 equals x over 8.314 times negative 2.664. I'm just, actually, what I'll do is we'll just take it one more step. We can say that since these are being multiplied together, what I'll do here is I will just extend this. This is coming along for the ride. We'll maybe highlight that because that's what we want, right? We'll say that's a beautiful blue. And then we got negative 2.664 times 10 to the negative fourth. And that's being times by X because this all goes together. What was that? Oh boy. But you get the drift, right? So now you can cross multiply, right? Take these two values and multiply them by each other because now we're just trying to get X by itself. Back to, back to PEMDAS. So I'll take this number, because I don't really want a round, times 8.314. Okay, we're coming down to it. Negative 50.79 equals negative 2.664 times 10 to the negative fourth times by x. Solve for x, we just divide by that number on both sides. Negative 2.664 times 10 to the negative fourth negative 2.664 times 10 to the negative fourth. And so it's this value divided by the 2.664 up top here. Beautiful. Press enter. And there we go. So that is your X value, which is your activation energy. And the activation energy in this case was, uh, I guess we'll put it in scientific notation. So 1.9 times 10 to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And just know that that's in joules because your R value was in joules. If it's coming straight out of this formula, it's going to be in joules. So since the joule value is going to be pretty large, chances are they might ask for, you know, what's the activation energy in kilojoules. Uh, so all you would have to do is just take this number, divide by 1,000, they didn't say that for this specific question, but just to show it, you know, we'll take that divided by a thousand just in case, and it would be roughly about 190, 191 kilojoules. And that's it. So just make sure you know this formula. Oh boy. Make sure you know this formula and how to apply it. Um, just watch out for it when you have two K values, two rate constants, and two temps. All right. And that's it. I hope this helped.
thank you for watching the video and coming here, you know, coming for your chem needs. We also got physics and math videos on the channel, which we may be able to help you out with. Or if you know anybody who's in those classes, we would love to help them out as well. Thank you for all your support and you guys rock. I'll talk to you soon. Okay. All right. Bye-bye.